It might seem far off to you just now, but as you move on through your career, how does everyone else know how well you're doing? Are you as good as the man next to you? Are you better? Are you worse? That's where professional registration can, can really help you. It gives people an understanding of where you've reached in your career, be that as an engineering technician, an incorporated engineer, or a chartered engineer. So it's a great standard to reach because it gets you the respect to your peers and it helps you in the CV. Employers definitely value professional membership. I mean, one of the things that you do when you sign up as a member of the IET is you sign up to the code of conduct and the code of ethics. Anyone coming into the career of engineering needs to join a professional institution because it's a launch pad to get where you want. Ever since I was a student, I've been on professional development type courses. I've really appreciated the life skills courses, presentation skills, time management, study skills have really helped me when I was a student. Negotiating skills, uh, dealing with stressful situations, you can take it back and use it in the workplace. An easy way to get some professional development that, that takes you forward. How to write your CV, um, interview skills, that sort of thing really helped me towards getting a job. It also gives you the opportunity to develop personally and professionally. As you move through your career, your employer appreciates the fact that you've had that kind of experience from outside because they're not trying it out on something that's very valuable to them the first time round and therefore they're more willing to try you out in sort of management type roles than they would have otherwise been. It makes you more employable. Being part of the Institute and having the letters after my name made them want to interview me to find out more about it and since then someone from the Institute came into the company to discuss with them what it could provide for the company. An engineering technician is important to me because I eventually want to be chartered and I saw it as one of the first steps on the ladder. Starting out whether you go through the student route to an apprenticeship, a technician, incorporated engineer, and leading on to chartership. My dad said that chartership was important and I knew the IE was a route to that at the time. We need everything we can get to make ourselves stand ahead of other people and being chartered is just another qualification. When you're a student, you're doing your degree, you go to your lectures every day, but you don't really know how it's going to apply in your real world life once you graduate. I think the IT's got some very good links with industry. Um, there are opportunities to pursue routes to registration um, through company accredited training schemes and things like that. Being a part of the Institute gives you the connections and the and a bit more experience that helps people not only take you a bit more seriously out of university. A lot of companies support membership of the institution and will actually pay your membership fees, which is really worth uh, finding out about. Professional development is important because it's the way that you're going to get to uh, professional recognition. There's a route there for everybody, and basically it's a rubber stamp saying you're professional in your engineering profession. Without professional development, we, we stop as people, we stop learning and we would stop improving the way that we do things as engineers or as people generally. It's kept me moving forward in my career. 